Today, we will be learning about appositives, direct objects, and predicate nominatives. Wait, that wasn't today's lesson. Oh, okay. Today, we'll be learning how to use predicates in data packs and the new commands execute if predicate and the target selector predicate equals. These were all added in 1.15, so stay tuned to learn how. These certainly got dimmer in 1.15. You can barely read them. Anyway, welcome to my channel. I'm Redstone Charger. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also join my Discord if you have any questions, you want to participate in giveaways, you want to suggest any videos, or if you just want to chat. Okay, so like I said, this is part of a data pack, so we will need to create a data pack. And let's go do that now. Okay, so first we need to create the data pack. Next, we need to go in. Now we need to create the packet MC meta and the data folder. Okay, now I just need to make this MC meta file work. Okay, there we go. Now in data, you don't really need a Minecraft folder in here since we're not using any default Minecraft uh, tags or predicates. So I'm just going to call mine foo. And inside that, we want one called predicates. And inside that is where the magic happens. So, first, predicate name.json. So this is what our predicate is going to be called. I think I am going to call it is raining. Because that is the first thing I'm going to be making so we are going to want to open it up and we are going to put some predicate in it before we actually put anything in there it's really easy to make them if you go to a loot table generator because there are they already exist there i will link you to this one in the description it's a really good one so we are not interested in anything but the add condition button because that's what predicates are. They are conditions. So now you can you can use any of these right here. So I'm going to be using weather and then raining. I'm going to set that to true. So now over here on the side, it now says condition weather check raining true. And you can just copy that there. So you copy the bracket right before condition, and then you have to make sure you close that same bracket. So I'm going to copy that, and then I can hop over to Notepad++ or whatever text editor you use, and then you can just paste that in and um, save it. So if we go in here and we just do slash reload, now if we do execute if... if predicate now it comes up foo is raining if it doesn't come up it means it didn't work right and then we can run say hi so now it doesn't do anything because it is not raining but if we do weather rain and now we do it it will say hi because it's raining extremely simple to do this will not work if you do the execute as at a predicate equals this it won't come up here so you have to type it in so is raining and then run say hi so okay and actually might work let's see whether clear gonna stop okay that works as well I wasn't actually sure of that I did not test that beforehand so that works there so if it's raining it will say hi if it's not so there are a lot of different predicates you can make I'm actually gonna just uh, make a few more for examples okay I'm just gonna name it random 50 and then open that up in notepad plus plus I just copy the other one so now you just want to go back to where you had your loot table generator, 
copy that and then go back to notepad plus plus and paste it in and then save that great so before i actually go back into minecraft i'm going to make a few more here and i'll be right back okay slash reload now execute if predicate okay let's see random 50 run say hi the other two i think we're gonna need to do in a let's see does it yep it's working it's just uh, very random oh i forgot i did 25 not 50 i did forget that so it's 25 percent chance that it will say hi and as you can see it's doing it every so often very every so often but it works now let's give myself a command block and execute at a predicate equals foo colon is sneaking run say hi now when I sneak, I say hi. And then I can do is sprinting. Now whenever I sprint, I say hi. Anyway, that was a quick tutorial. You can mess around with it. It's really, really helpful. You can kind of get away with the same thing with advancements. Advancements still are pretty pretty helpful. I'll actually be doing a tutorial on utility advancements soon, hopefully. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, and join my Discord if you would like to do that. Goodbye.